Okay, now here we are today with an unboxing video for the new Dirt HP Pavilion. Now this is the DV7 7008TX model. So if you want to have a look there, so that's the new model. Now this one only came out last week or so I believe. Now first thing, pretty much sprayed cardboard black box with the Beats audio. So that's obviously, I'm pretty sure the same as Beats by Dre, which is a headphone company. Uh, not really my kind of thing. I think they're a bit overpriced for what they are. But if that's the kind of gig, it's always good to have nice onboard audio because I do do a bit of sound production as well. So this should be nice. Now, first thing you see in the box, setup instructions. Nice pictures there. Get it out, come to the charger and everything as well. Easy done, explains how to use a touch pad. We'll put that aside for the time being because I don't think we're really going to need that one. Okay, now what we've got in here, in the corner of the box up the top here, is the charger. Very big charger actually, nice and big and flat, so that's pretty handy. Now what else have we got here? So we've got the other cable for the charger which can plug in. Now this actually looks like to be quite a long charging cable which is bloody handy if you're the kind of person who likes to sit on the couch with your laptop on the weekends or anything like that. Now also in the side we've got the battery. Now I'm not quite sure what kind of battery life this HP has. Now I've just come from a Dell XPS 15Z model which I was incredibly happy with the battery life in the Dell so hopefully the battery life in the HP keeps up to it. Now there's the battery. If anyone's a battery nerd this one's a oh, lithium ion battery obviously. 11.1 uh, volts, 62 watts um, Korean battery seems pretty standard. I mean, let's wait till we charge it up first and see how that goes. So, we've got that. Now, the next thing we'll be unboxing is the actual laptop itself. So, let's get that out of the box and have a look and see what it's like. No worries. Now, nothing else in the box apart from a bit of foam on the ends. So all that's in the box is the laptop itself, battery charger as well, and the battery too. So as you can see, it's wrapped in basic plastic wrapping. It's nice and clean, open from the top. No way, so the body, um, it's a brushed, can't really see it too much, you might be able to see it in the light there. It's a brushed alloy finish um, with the HQ, HP logo in the bottom corner. Looks quite nice, it's got um, also on the back of it, it's got the Hewlett Packard embossed logo in there. So what we'll do is we'll just chuck the battery in the back there. So nice plastic runners for the battery, battery looks pretty deep. So, grab that there. Slot in from the back, sort of thing. Okay, there we go. It looks like it's in. So, on the back of it, we've got the um, Beats by Dre. It says HP Triple Bass Reflex Subwoofer. So, it's got um, a subwoofer speaker in the back of the laptop. It's obviously going to be a fairly small diameter. I'm guessing it's going to be one of those sort of central drive style subwoofers. Just picks it up. Now, looking on the side, got a Blu ray burner there, which is quite handy as well and we've got a SS so USB 3.0 and USB drive there charger drive on the side um, obviously for your keypad lock for schools or anywhere else that's got one of these now on the other side oh there we go that's a bit interesting got the VGA monitor output now with my Dell it actually done away with that just went straight for the HDMI two more USBs on the side we've got obviously the microphone jack as well as the headphone jack on the side there. And in here we've got like an SSD or Firewire type setup. Oh no, sorry. That's your Ethernet connector in there. So it's got an Ethernet as well. So, next bit, let's get it opened. Actually, I find that a little bit fiddly. It's got a little rubber connector there and in there for the Ethernet. I'm not quite sure why they've got that capped off actually. It probably doesn't really need to be. You're not going to get too much dust or anything inside your Ethernet. So let's have a look inside the laptop now. Okay. Typical black mesh packing. Pretty handy. Now the actual laptop there. So this is 
what the actual laptop looks like. 17 inch screen, which is very handy to have. It's also got one thing which I very much like, which is having the numeric keypad on the keyboard. It's not a chiclet, oh actually, yeah, it's actually technically a chiclet style keyboard as well, which I like, they're quite nice to type on as well. Got the finger scanner there as well. Now, the reason why I like having the keypad is if you're ever doing any sort of business type stuff where you need to crunch a fair few numbers, which I do in my job, so quite handy to have that sitting there. You've also got the support number for HP. Hopefully I won't need to be calling that too much. Touchpad now, I actually had a play with the touchpad in the demo model in the store. It was quite nice to use, obviously two pad. It's got the NVIDIA GeForce GT, so that's the 650M model NVIDIA card, so it's two gigabyte on board. Now that's got the ability to thread with the CPU as well, so you can bounce back and forth between using all the actual graphics card memory and going into the CPU too, which can go actually up to two and a half gigabytes, which is quite handy. And the best thing about it, the brand new model Core i7, which will have the details up on the screen for you in a minute. Okay, no worries. Now, next thing is, let's get it plugged in and let's do the startup. Okay, now we've just finished with the setup. Chose not to go with Norton um, Windows Defender Boy. It's free. It doesn't bug me. I've uh, never had a bad virus on Windows 7 ever. I think if you use a bit of common sense, you can pretty much get around the problem of getting viruses on the computer. Now, what it's doing at the moment is it's actually doing setup which is just finished sorry about that yeah pretty cool graph on the front page a bit different than the old windows one so what it's got up, got up on the side you've got obviously basics recycle bin ebay hp uh, support hp office 2010 play hp games and also do some music stuff now what i'm going to do now because I'm going to do a cold boot restart now just to show everyone that I'm not you know, stuffing around, I'm not doing a sleep or anything like that. It'd be pretty nice if my camera would actually focus. I might go to manual focus mode for a second. No, stuff it. Okay. Okay, here we go. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go start up there now, main button there. As you can see, shut down. So I'm not going to sleep mode or anything like that. Let's do the shutdown. So bang, turning off, shutting down, okay no worries, so we have a completely dead computer, okay, now let's see how quick this SSD boots up, so hitting the power button there, bang, starting windows, an absolute cold boot, And there you have it. Windows is loaded up. Yep, pretty happy with that. If you can think back to the old days, one of the biggest things where Apple actually had it over PCs just with boot up times, SSD seems to have really sort of leveled that playing field. And yep, couldn't be more happy really. Um, I'll get back to you guys later on down the tack with some benchmarking videos. Hope you all enjoyed the unboxing of my new HP. Cheers.